welcome to the fascinating world of biological research. In our study of biology this year, we will discover many interesting things about animals such as birds, mammals, amphibians, and reptiles. We will also spend some time studying plants and photosynthesis. We will delve into the microscopic world of bacteria, protozoans, and algae. And we will unlock some of the secrets of genetics and DNA. Reading about biology can be enlightening, but to understand God's creation more fully, we need to conduct a deeper investigation. And for that, we need a laboratory. A biology lab demonstration might take place in a well-equipped laboratory like this one. Or it could be a field, a forest, or a pond. Or perhaps in our own backyard. For some of our biology lab demonstrations, we will be performing dissections of animals, such as the frog, crayfish, and sea star. But before we jump into our first biology lab demonstration, let's take a few moments to discuss some basic lab safety procedures. The first important rule for lab safety is always wear proper lab attire, including a lab coat or apron, safety goggles, and gloves. Here's a second important rule for lab safety. Never eat or drink in the lab. Food or drink could contaminate an experiment, and an experiment could contaminate the food or drink. Another important safety rule is always act responsibly in the lab. Working in the lab can be fascinating, but it can also be dangerous. Running, pushing, or acting irresponsibly could lead to accident or injury. The next rule is be especially careful with glass objects and with sharp instruments in the lab. The techniques learned in the lab will provide a better understanding of biology now and could provide great benefit in the future. Many careers and professions make use of these same techniques and practices Probably the most common is the medical profession. Numerous medical fields, from nursing to dentistry, use some of the same techniques learned in dissections. Doctors must apply their knowledge of anatomy and physiology in the care and diagnosis of patients. Surgeons not only apply this knowledge of biology, but they must also use surgical instruments. Many surgeons were first introduced to surgical instruments during a dissection in biology class. Lab technicians perform tests on blood and tissues to assist doctors in the diagnosis and treatment of medical conditions. The techniques learned in biology are essential to lab technicians. To environmental scientists, the whole world is a lab. Environmental scientists use techniques learned in biology and chemistry labs to perform tests in the field. Biology lab demonstrations could also benefit students who become botanists in agricultural research where knowledge of genetics and plant physiology could help produce plants that are resistant to disease. Without an extensive knowledge of animal anatomy and physiology, veterinarians could not do their jobs. Nutritionists use their knowledge of foods, enzymes, and the physiology of the digestive system to help patients achieve better digestive health. Some of this knowledge was gained in a biology course. By applying their laboratory skills, microbiologists and geneticists have developed new techniques and medicines to treat diseases. Because of their research, we are able to live healthier, more productive lives. Medical, veterinary, agricultural, or environmental sciences are not the only fields where biology lab experience might prove beneficial. Knowledge gained in the lab might one day help you become a science teacher, professor, or writer. Wherever the Lord leads you, the skills learned in the laboratory can help you along the way. Take the time to dig a little deeper into the wonders of God's creation with Biology Lab demonstrations. We hope you have enjoyed this lab introduction. At this time, proceed with the corresponding activities. <laughs>